and I can say uh, without any doubt mm -hmm. that an overwhelming major uh, majority of those of us on the majority side sympathize with Honorable uh, Ajua Safu. There are a few who have expressed um, some concerns about her absence in languages that we have all been disturbed about. Uh, I do not think uh, Honorable Ajua Safu is <clears throat> doing anything out of malice. I do not think it is, there's any intention to undermine government or to undermine the caucus. I, I never believe that. And the majority of us uh, <clears throat> on the NPP side, we, we don't believe that. So that point must be made clear. However, we ought to ask the question, is this about sympathy? Or it's about how Ghana's parliament works? That if a member of parliament was elected and for some, for some reason outside their control, they cannot be in the chamber for the four years, that because the reasons are uh, reasons that attract sympathy, and we all understand as human beings, then it's okay for the people of that constituency not to have representation for the entire four years, simply because the person is away for reasons beyond their control. We, we have to ask that question. And <clears throat> I think those, it's very easy to say somebody is targeting her because of politics. The last thing I would do is to target Joseph. She's my friend. Maybe I, not you. I guess I just don't want to do that. But but we, have heard, we have heard the claims that because uh, of her unavailability, you have struggled to pass E-Levy, and you suffered a lot of embarrassment, and you, know, you blame all of this on her. At one point, uh, she had to be uh, put on a jet to come down you know, in a risky way to come and, um, and be part of the voting process. And all the rumors, I'm not supposed to elevate rumors, but the rumors that she it. suspected, <laughs> she suspected it. to have been the person who added her vote to the NDC for the speaker to no, be elected. I, I don't believe and that. And so she's, she's, she has to be punished, no, no, isolated. I don't, I, I don't believe that. I don't think it was Ajua Safu that voted. Because I know Ajua, I've known Ajua since we're out of parliament. I, I don't think she did it, and, and that must be discounted immediately. I also do not think that when people blame her, you may blame her to the extent that her vote was not there to help the majority, majority side get what we want. Mm. You may, to that extent, blame her. But I do not think you blame her to say that she's doing this maliciously. But as for... Some of your people, including I, your leaders, have suggested that. Look, the, that's what I'm saying, that the majority of us, and we have, this, we have private uh, um, WhatsApp platforms, we, are, we have discussions amongst ourselves. The majority of us believe that Ajua Safu is not doing this maliciously. But the, all of us, including myself, also believe that the fact that her situation rather calls for our sympathy and support does not mean that the parliament of Ghana must almost perpetually be without a, a, a member that has been elected to represent the constituency. We must differentiate two things. So I would be happy if, assuming, I mean, Ajua uh, is a woman of substance, but if there was... If you have entertained there, there was, such circumstances before, why her? It's almost like of saying... Of course, because we, you have we, a hung parliament now. Uh, it's almost like saying if we have entertained MPs absenteeism for so long, why are we discussing it now? There always ought to be a point at which we say we will do the right thing. So what I'm saying is this, that I, I believe that, uh, uh, and the majority of us on the majority side believe that Adjua Safo is not doing this maliciously. And if anybody, and I've heard some comments, and where those comments came, many of us have discussed it amongst ourselves as unfortunate. 